I can say, safely say, we are sick and tired on relying on other people. We are. And we are sick and tired of undermining the ability, the skills, and the strength that we have. My nasiha to all of us is, first thing that you do is, instead of saying, I'm planning to work in this company until I retire, plan for your own business. And if you're not willing to plan for your own business, plan to be the customer of another Muslim business, one of Muslim business, in everything that you do. If you want to cut your hair, you want to trim, go and find a Muslim. Don't say, oh, I know Angelino, I know Bruno, this. No. Find a Muslim barbershop. If you're driving, make sure you only go to Muslim business. I'm not saying let us boycott everyone else. No. I'm saying everyone else is taking care of themselves. Let us take care of care ourselves. He took his cell phone and he started calling 25 people while I'm sitting with, them, with him. Telling them, you have no job if you don't pray in the masjid. You have no job if you don't come to salah and pray in the masjid. With four, five thousand Muslims, you can create the most powerful lobby in Canada. With that number of Muslims, you can create one of the strongest businesses, Muslim business in, in, in Toronto. If you just put our resources, if you can put our resources together, if you can work together, as an ummah, we can change a lot. As Muslims, we are scattered all over the city. You have people living in Pontum. Pontum. You have people living in Mississauga. You have people living in Whitby. You have people living in Richmond Hill. Imagine if you would all got together in one area. In the city of Edmonton, the Sikh, Sikh, they live in what neighborhood? And nothing can be changed or done without their approval. We here, we may as well benefit from the system that they have here. What can you do with unity? A lot. You can change a lot. You can change the foreign policy of this country. You can change how the Muslim thing. You can even when you need a business, when you need a help. When you need help, if you call Muslim for your need, you will help the Muslim community. Brothers in the masjid right now, they're coming up with a magazine or a newspaper called Ummah Times. What is Ummah Times does? Ummah Times, it advertises all your businesses. All the Muslim businesses, it's Ummah. All you need to do, I will never advertise with a Catholic. There you go. I've seen and heard some advertisement giving to 680 News. $5,000. But for your Muslim brothers, $50, $80, $100, we think twice before we do this. Unless, brothers and sisters, unless we work together, the day that we need a truck driver, we know where to find truck drivers. The day that I need a cab, I should have a number of a Muslim cab that's okay, pick me up. When I want to see a doctor, only Muslim doctor. When I want to hire someone, only Muslim worker. Then we can strengthen ourselves.